Ryan Sussi on one of his favorite perennial topics, a wreck in retail. This time it's Target, which of course yesterday cut his profit outlook for the second time in less than three weeks. The stocks felt the pain. It's down over 30% in the past month alone. But what, should we be, should people be taking another look at Target in the week? Yeah, this is a tailor-made topic for me, right? The retail wreck. But I would say I don't like seeing this happen at, happen mm. at Target. They've been just a really well-run company uh, over the past decade. But still, nonetheless, it is what it is. The numbers are what they are. And you're seeing Target shares back under pressure here this morning. Bank of America uh, longtime retail analyst Robbie Ohms noting uh, downgrading the stock here today, warning of a potential consumer-led recession in 2023. Mm. Not good. Now, if you're an investor, you're starting to kick the tires on, on Target shares or you want to even approach that car and kick the tires on Target, uh, what are you getting? You're essentially now seeing the stock traded about 11 times forward earnings, according to Yahoo Finance Plus data. The S&P 500 trades at a forward P of about 18 times, so a big discount. But uh, there are probably some things you want to see from Target here before you even consider buying one share in their stock. So a couple things to look for here. I made up a, a helpful list. First, you want to see Target start to deliver on cost cuts. Now, this is something that CFO, uh, Target CFO Michael Fidelki told me about in our chat yesterday. They're going to start cutting costs. Unclear when that is going to come from. I asked them if they were going to be laying off workers. He said uh, no. So uh, unclear where those cost cuts are going to come from. Number two, you want to see inv inventory levels start to come down at Target. And you will not really know that unless you're visiting these stores every single day or more likely you look at the company's next or the second quarter earnings release in a couple months. Inventory up 43 percent coming out of the first quarter. So high, very high levels. Also, fewer markdowns. We are all Target shoppers. And, you know, if you start to go to Target stores over the next few weeks, you see markdowns starting to decrease, let's say from 50 percent of home furnishings down to 25 percent. Perhaps you're thinking they are working through a lot of the unsold inventory and maybe things will in fact get better for back to school. And last but not least here, and I'll add a, a bonus one here, no loss in food momentum. The essential mm -hmm. the thing that is holding Target's earnings up right now is momentum in food. Now, if that starts to slow down because of high levels of inflation, then you're looking at a potential another earnings warning from Target, I would argue. Hmm. It's interesting, too, with Target and Walmart and how much they've invested in e-commerce and that fulfillment side of the business. And I bring that up because you still have so many people that are ordering their groceries from both of these retail giants. Um, and then that's typically where you see some of those add-on discretionary items to those orders as well. And that's the inventory that they have to work through here. And that might be where Target looks to trim costs. This has been another retailer, not unlike Amazon, that is mm -hmm. in to invest aggressively in CapEx the past two years to support their strong sales growth. Do they operate fewer hours at a new distribution plant? Maybe that's something they'll look at. But again, uh, it's hard to tell them right now.